Hello again. It's me, Gatsby, but you can also call me Gat. Here I am, once again, with the OC art video for you all to partake in. Still drawing my funny guys from Liminal Lost and Found, which is an original story concept I have. Feel free to watch the previous video on that. But basically the story is about characters from different dimensions getting plopped into my version of the back rooms called Liminal, and they have to learn to work together and survive because friendship, it's magic. So I wanted to draw them a bit more. The thing is, I didn't know if I wanted to do like one of those draw, you know, characters in different art styles or do something like draw them in different outfits. So because I didn't know, put a poll up on my Twitter and well, different fashion styles won. So I, I, I'm doing that. I mean, the people spoke it. I'm merely doing it. Look, I know it's a little, uh, as they say, not epic of me to start off a video where I said I'm going to draw my characters in different outfits by just drawing their base outfits. But I just really wanted to have a reference that wasn't either the rough designs that I drew before I even did the, my art for the previous video and not the fully shaded character art that I had done for that video as well. That and I also wanted to have a really just kind of basic like, okay, idea of characters' heights and relationships to each other. Since this video, they'll be standing by each other art-wise and I just wanted to have a good consistent scale to make sure the proportion sizes weren't too off drawing from drawing, if that makes sense. I hope it does. One thing I do want to get out of the way, be transparent about my art, is that it's consistently inconsistent in both style and how I do things. For example, in the previous video I did, you saw me use the very typical steps of sketch, line art, flat colors, shading. Whereas here, I would do what I would consider more of my typical pro artistic process, which is just, you know, fuck it, we ball, put everything on one layer and go ham, whatever you kids say. Another thing is that I always forget to do warm-ups as an artist. Not always, but most of the time. So that, that has, and the effect of that is these first couple of drawings I personally feel like are not as quality as the ones later on. Call me Regigigas the way I have a slow start, am I right? That's a joke for you gamers out there. Wink, wink, wink. There's not a lot else for me to say about this drawing here specifically other than, you know, it was, it was nice to draw them just kind of standing by each other. Very epic. Okay, so when I got those results from the Twitter poll about drawing them in different outfits, I knew right off the bat I was going to have to draw them in pajamas. The idea just seemed like a really fun, cute, and interesting way to kind of develop their characters more. Like, what would they wear? Pajamas, it's a very interesting question. And that thought, that idea slowly morphed into, okay, but what if they were all roommates? in college. And this is a snapshot of getting to see them all on one such morning. So here we have uh, Azure in an oversized old t-shirt, one sock on one foot, none on the other, giving the very, giving the very college, a given the very college age, why why did I have an 8 a.m. class? Oh God, this was so stupid of me. She's a trooper though, we salute her for it. I will say, I'm so thankful references are a thing. It took me forever 
to figure out how to pose her. Like, I, that's something I definitely need to get better at is posing. Like, just the slouching. Oh, it was, ooh, it was rough. Well, let me tell you. Daisy, I imagine her that she would be one of those academics. Probably has to do a whole bunch of thesis statements, a whole bunch of thesis papers, all this extra extracurricular work. I don't know what they do in college. I only went to community college. Do I look like I know anything to you people? Anyways. Daisy. She's overworked. She's probably had five hours of sleep and like over five cups of coffee. She's jacked up on caffeine. If I was a better artist, I definitely would have, uh, I definitely would have exaggerated the manic expression of her coffee. Manic face more, but you know, say la vie. Lefka is a morning person. Okay, he's one of those jock dudes. He's one of those bros. He's gotten up. He's gone for like a run. Probably done like a hundred push-ups or something. T gone, taking a shower. Now he's up making pancakes for his homies. For his besties. For his bro -cha I did find it very interesting though. Is that when I shared this art with my friends. One of my friends, Hank, mentioned that Levka had a... Goku meal and I'm surprised I didn't that never that thought never occurred to me that Levka would eat a lot like yeah it, it makes total sense for like the character archetype he kind of fits the show and protagonist and I think that's kind of why now that I'm thinking about it how he would end up as the the dorm room cook in that situation because, I mean, he's making all that food. You, you know, might as well make his uh, roommates some food as well. Volpez? I I guess just, I was just so biased in, into thinking of his uh, medieval dimension background. I was just like, I had to draw him in a nightgown. He's out here looking like Squidward, man. Look at him. He's pathetic. I love him. Originally, I was going to draw him with a nightcap. I just thought it just looked a little, I don't know. I just didn't feel like drawing it. So imagine that it's in his room and he left it in his room. And we're uh, about done with this one. It ain't that amazing. Woohoo, let's go to the next art. Yahoo! Where I live in the world, it doesn't really get cold. We'll have a lot of days where it looks like it'll be cold outside, but it's not. It's just really dreary and gray. We actually had a couple of those days recently while I was drawing all this art. So it just put me in the mood for wanting to draw the gang in various winter or cold weather apparel. Volpez, his outfit already kind of, his base outfit is already kind of wintry, you could argue. So it just kind of ended up me drawing an outfit. He look, What I'm trying to say is he looks like a nerd here. He looks like he's about to go to the library. And honestly, I don't even want to know what type of book he's checking out. It's probably something about how to break the Geneva Conventions. Not that he would want to do that, but I think he'd find the information useful. Levka is one of those guys. Levka, I just knew in my heart of hearts, he is one of those guys where it's like super cold out and you don't know if, if because he has some type of pride he wants to show off or if he just genuinely is that or if he genuinely is that used to the cold but he, he just goes out and like slides and shorts and like a light jacket and he just looks genuinely confused about like 
What do you mean it's cold? I feel perfectly fine. I even drew like a little bubble there indicating like, what? Cold temperature? Uh, Daisy ended up being pretty simple. I just wanted to draw her in a cute little earmuffs and sweater. She ended up, I feel like she would go out and like sing Christmas carols to people. If there was that concept in the liminal. Which brings a very interesting question to mind. Would there be religion in the liminal? I don't know. Probably. Because religious people would end up in the liminal. Who knows? There might be a Christmas liminal lost and found episode coming to you soon. Airing on your local CVS pharmacy station. Azure, though... Azure, a lot like myself, I just knew this poor girl is not a winter, this does not believe in winter wonderlands. She is both simultaneously overdressed and underdressed for cold weather. Her pants are jeans, which by the way, you're really not supposed to wear when it gets super cold out. Her boots, ugh. I just help her, help her. She needs all the help she can get. Number three. The theme for this one was just, I went on Pinterest.com and I looked at all the funny little outfits and I picked out funny little outfits to draw my funny little guys in nothing much more to it. Some of these I feel like are very fitting, like Volpez, Levka, Azure. I'm not sure if Daisy would actually wear like the gothic attire that I gave her, but hey, it looks good and it was fun to draw. What else can I say? But yeah, I think Overall, this is probably my favorite piece out of all of them. It was just really fun to draw. Just, you know, kind of more silly. Just the slightly more dynamic poses. You know, we have Levka giving the peace signs. Bolpes slightly leaning on an imaginary surface with his, with his sucker. Because smoking's for losers, kids. I do have to admit something, though. I have failed Levka. I have failed you, the viewers. You will see here in a bit. Even though I had the gosh darn reference that I drew earlier in the video, I had it opened in the upper left corner in the reference window in Clip Paint Studio. I still somehow managed to forget to draw Levka's prosthetic arm. I gave him two flesh arms. He does not have two flesh arms. He has a flesh arm and a, a metal prosthetic arm. Why did I do this? I didn't, it didn't occur to me till I was like going to bed that night. Like, oh my God, I, I forgot to draw that. I'm like, oh my God, I was so disappointed in myself. I was disappointed because I feel like I failed Levka and I failed you, the viewers. But it's okay. I went back in post and fixed it. So it could be worse. Just, uh, well, it, it, it almost was worse. I actually had to write on my hand, hey, Remember to go back and fix Levka's arm. It's just how forgetful I am. I'm amazed I still know how to draw at this point, honestly. Daisy, Daisy's look was definitely inspired by... It was definitely season one. It was one of the earlier episodes. I don't think it was... Definitely wasn't three. Maybe it's, it was it was one of the earlier episodes before episode 10 because it was single digit. I think it was suited for success where... Fluttershy becomes a model for like that one episode and there's like this one poster of her and she has like the black dyed hair. I don't know. I just felt like with Daisy's color, she'd look really good in black. So I went with the more gothic look. Azure, I just really like knew in my heart of hearts. I had to draw her in some like quirky, cute overalls. And definitely, like I said, this piece is one of my favorites of this batch. And the way Azure came out is just one of my favorites altogether. I love the stupid little bunny that I draw on her overalls. I love her big old shoes, 
I love her little bracelet. I love a rainbow shirt. It's all just... Just makes me happy. It gives me the happy juices. Makes me smile. Okay, here we are. Final piece of the video. With this one being like party ballroom attire. This one, it took me the longest. For the, all the previous ones, I did that all in about a sitting. This one, I actually had to like get up and like take a break and like ruminate on my life choices on. Just because, I don't know, it took me longer. I, I think I was just really wanted to make sure everything looked decent enough. And I did put a, a lot of these, I was just, you know, going in and like, okay, screw it, we ball. This one, I definitely went in more prepared. You know, I was looking up preference images beforehand, saving them to my phone so it didn't make the speed paint footage like awkward with me constantly, you know, flipping through reference images. I sketched all their poses and ideas for, you know, in my sketchbook and took photos. Upload to, uploaded it to Google Drive, saved the photos, pasted them on this canvas, moved them around. I was very dedicated and honestly a little hyped to draw this piece because I do love myself a good ballroom scene in any media. I think they can be really fun and it was just fun to see them in more formal attire. Azure was pretty easy to do. Just a really nice, simple, modern dress, I think, really suited her. I almost went for a pink color at one point, but I'm glad I settled on the more off-white, almost champagne color? Is that the color of champagne? I don't know. I'm not a champagne expert. Daisy, on the other hand, oh my gosh, she took forever, and that was kind of on me. I really wanted to her to have Art Nouveau, specifically Mucha, Mucha inspired look to her, her dress. And sure, I had the reference of the dress, but I did not think how that style of a dress would work on her body type being a quadruped pony. Especially with one of the signature things with Mucha or at least when I think of Mooka, is dresses that have like the draping sleeves, which I really wanted to do. That was like the hardest thing for me to draw. I, mean, I just constantly am erasing and drawing, erasing and drawing that whole entire like front part of her dress because I just had no idea what I was doing. I was just flopping around like a fish. Eventually, I, I got to something I was like semi okay with. I kind of feel like I dropped the ball on this one. Dropped the ball. Oh, oh. Unintentional pun. I kind of failed Daisy a little bit, but c'est la vie. There's always next time, just more uh, motivation to get better at art. Levka? Okay, I feel like he might stand out a little bit, but hear me out. It's Russian in origin. And also in his backstory from little, whatever, his fantasy world, he's royalty, he's like a prince. So I thought it'd be interesting to draw him in kind of that more traditional Russian styling. Even though I had references out, I'm not sure if I really had an accurate look to it. I do apologize for that. This time though, I did go out of my way to make sure I put in his prosthetic arm so I wouldn't forget like last time because ooh, that was, that was, Gat embarrassment moment. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Levka, just a simple, you know, him waving out, you know, kind of like welcoming high pose. I'm not sure if I love or hate the color palette on this. I probably could have picked something better, but it's just kind of what happens. Ain't it? Added a nice little crown to him later on, just to make him a look, just look a little bit more princely. Volpes, though. He was actually, I thought his art would be really hard to do too, but I don't know what happened. I guess I just got into like the zone when it came to his uh, character art. Because when it came to his character art, because 
You've probably noticed this if you're a real art expert, is I suck major when it comes to drawing clothing and fabric. Or at least I feel like I do. I feel like it's one of my personal weak points as an artist. Honestly thought that drawing his, you know, this outfit, this kind of phantom of the opera-esque pose would be really, that I wouldn't be able to nail it. But it came out looking pretty good. Glad I had the... It's kind of funny. He and Levka ended up with these very similar poses. I actually had to flip him over to make sure it wasn't too similar. It gives off Team Rocket energies. And that's it. Here we are. End of the video already. Can you believe it? Anyways, I just want to say once again, if you've gotten this far, thank you so, so, so very, very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you had a favorite outfit, character, look, I'd love to hear. Comment below. And, to, and until next time, stay safe and be kind to one another. Bye-bye.